So this is not really relevant given that you've got what's probably a better solution using the RTF approach. Um, but here's how to do it anyway, just in case it helps, it's helpful in the future. So what I did was I created a, a text file, just copy and pasted the file that you gave us in the community. And I just gave it a um, an extension FS. I've no idea what the extension is. I don't think you mentioned it. So I just made one up. So that's my file. And then what I did was I go to file options, go to my file types. I click on new and take regular expression delimited text and say OK. And I give it a name. I'm going to call it funny subtitle. I always like to use or to put something in this file type identifier as well because it changes the orange tab when you open the file. It just gives you a little peace of mind that you've used the right file type. I use my own file type expression, which was FS for funny subtitle. Click on finish. That's the file type. And then all I do is I add the document structure rules. In this case, I'm just going to edit these ones because I don't want this one. So um, if I come back to the file, just so we can see what I'm looking at, I can explain it as I'm going along. I just open that up in regex buddy. It's pretty straightforward, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I'm looking for this CF000 or CF0 and ending with a backslash. So I need to escape the first backslash. So I have to put a double backslash Then I have CF0 and then I'll put a backslash S for the space. And I can see that I'm actually picking up um, a little bit more. I'm actually pick, I've got Dear Trader and I've got Are You Fully Aware of the Information You Are Required by Law? But I'm also picking up this one. I don't want the one, but then the others are actually at the beginning of a line. So let's assume they're all at the beginning of a line, the ones I actually want. So I'm going to put a carrot symbol at the beginning and then it will only pick up the ones I actually want. It's picked up this up too, but there's nothing in there. So I'm just going to ignore that one. So this is really just something that's based on the information you've given me. So I go back to my studio and the opening pattern is going to be that. And if the closing pattern is going to be double backslash at the end to pick up this one here, but I don't want all the other ones. So if I just pick a dollar sign at the end, it's going to pick up the one at the end each time. I don't need to worry about these other ones that it's picked up because um, it's only going to pick up the closing tag to the opening tag. So I can use that without a problem. So I say modify. There's that one. I can test it by picking up the subtitles FS. If I preview it, there we go. So simple enough that you could do it like that. But it was a very small file that you gave us for an example. I've no else what, no idea what else is in there. But that principle might be helpful if you decide to go that way um, and just have a clean file. That's it anyway.